I think the easiest way to grow the sheep, which area is the worst setup for the pumpkins? This area is probably the worst setup for the pumpkins just because it's so uneven. Yeah. All right, so. Yeah, so we're going to t tear this area up and turn this area into a sheep zone. The trick to keeping them under control seems to be to have another row of fences around the first row as a sort of um, emergency trap. So I'm just putting a second row at spacing one to act as a sort of catcher. Then the next thing will be to have a bunch of two by two pens. Each pen will hold one color. There's probably a better way to do it if we actually sat down with some paper and designed something instead of just building randomly. That's the Minecraft is all about, building randomly. <laughs> all right. Yeah, how? Oh! Oh, I just saw it happen! If the, no, the sheep just immediately, the sheep then, <laughs> you'll have to see this video when I upload it. A sheep jumped over the, a baby sheep went over the fence, walked out in the outside, and then teleported back inside the fence. Yeah, I'm going to grab some paper and actually think about this before I just randomly destroy half the island. No, there's a lot of pain, like on the side of the ravine. Yes. Uh, safety rail. That's a safety rail. They got two? I built them there, yes. Okay, I was doing a little street thing going. Yeah. They're, they're safety rails so that you don't fall in. No! Don't destroy them! You're on camera while I count how many spaces this thing is going to take. Hi, you How are you doing? So we're going to want eight down. Oh, I see. I see the bookcases are going up. Good, good. Okay. Yeah, there's a problem, though. I was going to try and conceal that. I think we're going to have to go to five for each of Um, Are you aware that you're putting the, tr uh, the bookcases in the middle of the tree farm area? This whole thing of trees everywhere was just to recover saplings. They yeah, will be going back nature, there. Nature friendly place. Okay, okay. No problem, no problem. Tell you what, tell you what. We will make it a meditation grove. We will make it a meditation grove where the bookcases are in the middle of the trees. You'll see. I still have to get another plan. All right. So I'm taking you off camera while I go and count the number of spaces. And we will come back and see your design when it's done. Yeah, All these. Right, I am done trying to actually make this completely work, but this is this is gonna be a small. Oh no, wait, hold on. I have two more hey, hey, hey! Don't push me. You're a ghost. How do you can you be pushing me if you're a? You're not a ghost. <laughs> glub, glub. It just teleported from mean, here glub, back glub. into its pen. What do you mean, glub, glub? What does that mean? I mean, I fell into the water while going after it. I mean, it was like 20, uh, about 20 blocks from where it was supposed to be. Wow. Yeah. Notch, uh, not Notch, Jeb, fix the sheep. <laughs> All right, yeah, come on out of here with your head down. Okay. For God, look at them, they're still doing it. <laughs> oh, you mean the glitching? God. Yes. Yes. The whole point of this, that cheap pen setup that I have, is designed to be proof against their glitching. You shouldn't go that way. You're going to ruin it. What? Don't go that way. You're going to ruin it. Oh. Okay, with my... Okay. All right, so going the other way. Yeah, you're, you're, in, the, yeah, you're in the back. Follow me. Okay, I can't see where you are at the moment. Um, I see you. I... Uh, I see you. Okay. 
All right, following you with my head down. Don't worry. Okay. I'm not quite finished yet, but it will be soon. It's unfortunate. Okay, is it ready for re re revealing on the camera then? All right. Whoa. I'm inside. Nice. If you have a roof of leaves, but that's not going to work. So well. Beautiful tall tree up there. Wow. I know. Actually, the one in the left corner was actually two trees, but and then it grew a really tall one, which is kind of awkward. But the one on the right in the far corner is, you know, a totally natural one. The the right far corner. Which I can't get to. Yes, I can. I walk under the trees. Right. Now, the right far corner. Wow. That one was the natural one that was still there. Okay. And then over here, you did... Oh, I see. You put a tree on top of a tree. Exactly. That's how I did that. Wow. Nicely. Uh, when, we ever, when we actually freaking make the... the Table of a champion is going to go a little right here. Nice. I mean, an eco friendly roof can grow trees on that, too. Yeah. Now, here's the thing. Here's the thing. The torches, uh, there, can, there can be no torches on the bookcases. I think there can be a, a torch on top, of, on top of the enchanting table. I'm not sure. But not in the... Oh, okay. The air between the, book, the enchanting table and bookcases has to be air. No torches. I did not know that. Oh, cool. No problem. How do we put light in here, then? Well, let's see. You've got torches here, so let me check something. What we need to do is... Oh! Well, the simple answer is to put the torches one lower. Okay, so it's going to have to look like that. That's fine. Yeah, that works okay. Yeah. So the torches are on the bookcases. Okay. Works for me. I love this setup. It looks lovely. Yeah, it's still not done though. I'm gonna put in some probably like some chairs over here, on the side. So it's gonna look really nice. Absolutely. But oh, we lost a torch somewhere over here. Where? There was a torch in oh, this yeah, block. I did have to move that here. Yeah. Here, we'll see. We'll see it looks nice at least. What was that? All right. Okay, that looks good. That looks good. And yeah, it's well lit. This is yeah. wonderful. <laughs> what? <laughs> Fortunately, I made sure that any any fall into my interior area was safe and controlled before we came over into this world. Yeah. That is yeah, lovely. Uh, you do know, just out of curiosity, you do know that you can use shears to pick up uh, leaf blocks and move them around? Really? Yes. So cool. Then. Yeah. All right. That's what I need to do. All right. So you go finish sculpting then, and I'm going to finish that sheep pen. We are going okay. to have this sheep problem under control. We are going to have all 16 colored blocks available to us. Anybody who doesn't understand the detail orientation of ADHD would think that we were being insane or ridiculous on this. <laughs> <laughs> so the idea is basically there's walkways and pens and they alternate. And the and the cats are getting into things, so let me check for the cats again. Hey, the question I have is, if you're so concerned about the sheep getting out, how are you going to get some wool up to secure it? Well, the whole point is the walkways. The walkways over here, you stand next to the fence, shear everything on the inside, and then walk around and collect it. Wow. Ideally, once everything is set up, we will never have to open the fence gates. You remember how I said I thought I had made too many fences? Did you lie? <laughs> I underestimated the necess the amount of fences needed. <laughs> ah. 
by a huge amount. I'm sorry. One, two, three, four, five, and of course. I think I'm gonna go build the canopy first before I build the tree house though. So. Alright. Get that over with done. It's gonna take a long ass time, so plant some trees when you're out there. You want me to plant more trees? Yeah, just scatter them about, because I gotta go shave them down. Dude, Got them. No problem, no problem. So I can't shave on, you know, I can't shave what I've already started on. Right. I have no problem planting a bunch of trees for you. Okay. Just plop them down as you go, just three or five pages apart. Right. Here is a quick question for you. Do you see any graphical difference between the leaves that you have replanted and the leaves that grew naturally? Um, no, actually. Some people have said that if you pay close attention, they're not quite the same graphics. A slight difference in the um, graphics for the trees that, um, for the two types of trees, because they're, apparently they're actually different blocks. Because one will decay and one won't decay. The leaves that you replant won't decay. You can actually make bushes out of them. It, it looks like there's more like seeds on there, actually, a little bit. Maybe that's it. Kind of like that. Well, believe me, I have plenty of trees out there for you at this point. I, I noticed that. <laughs> oh, something that I just thought of. All those trees yeah. that I put down... We, they may make the island dark enough for creatures, for mobs to spawn. So there may be a need to be careful. You know, if I didn't know better, I would say these sheep were actually out at this point. They can't be. I haven't opened the gate. I haven't let them out. They burn each other out. <laughs> they multiply so quickly that they can't burn. Well, actually, that's exactly what will happen when I do open the doors. There's so many of them that they will explode outward. <laughs> it's going to be great fun to watch. One more round of feeding and breeding. And we will get ready to watch the, the sheep explode. Uh, I'm having trouble getting up to our... I am trapped in a maze of trees and cannot get out. <laughs> what? Where are you? Holy! What? All the trees. Oh my, come over here to this side and take a look. Oh dear God. Dear Lord. God. Oh God, coming. Ah! Come over here. Come over here. Do you see me? <laughs> that is burn. Where are you? I don't know and I don't care. That's <laughs> uh, tinder broke. You didn't uh, set anything on fire, did you? Um, um, the flying fire and set <laughs> anything. <laughs> Define all of it. Just define all of it. Did you use a Minecraft tool such as flint and steel to turn an air block into a fire block next to a flammable block such as a wood block? Oh, yeah. Let me put it that way. <laughs> oh, my. Okay, now I see the fire. I finally see the fire. I hope so. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> <laughs> sing with me, sing with me. <clears throat> we just start the fire. <laughs> oh my god. It's spreading, <laughs> look at it. Oh my, oh my, oh my jeb. <laughs> you realize this is being videotaped. I mean, not videotaped. <laughs> oh god, this is amazing. Being DVR'd, how about that? Oh, dear God, I'm on fire. Ah, ah, that's me. Ah, okay, I'm okay. Didn't burn 
burn all the way. Didn't all burn to the ground. That was the plan, except for the sanctuary. Oh, we know it's still burning. Out. But oh my God! I just saw another tree pop up right in, just in time to get burnt. <laughs> There's some really beautiful large trees that are going to get burnt. Come and take a look at this one. Just look at this one. Yeah. Look, look at this one. Are you so sure about the whole forever burning thing? I'm certain uh, it no longer gosh. burns forever. Oh, no. Michael, it tried to take me again. What? It tried to take me again. What tried to take you? <laughs> what? Ravine tried to take me again. I thought you were going to say Ravine. You burnt some yeah. of the planks that were sheep pen planks. So I really is a bad thing sometimes. Sometimes yes. it's just fun to watch. Hey, you know what? This is partly your fault. You planted way too many trees. You asked me to plant trees for you, and I did. Not this many. <laughs> this is overkill by a lot. What do you expect? <laughs> um, not overkill? Question mark? Uh, number one, if it's worth doing, it's worth overdoing. Number two, if it's worth killing, it's worth overkilling. Number three, number three, if it's worth burning, it's, over, it's worth overburning as well. Number three, there's no kill like overkill. You should know that. There's no kill like overkill. Standard axiom of gamers. This is somewhat true. Also known as, oh my lord, another giant tree. Come and take a look at this. Where's this giant? Oh, oh. Right hello. here. Hello. God, Michael, you've overkilled it that or wow. <laughs> you were just like trees everywhere. I'm like, what the fuck? What I remember you telling me was to put the trees down about every every few spaces. I didn't mean all over the island. Well you didn't specify. <laughs> now keep in mind, there's still more trees to grow. They haven't all grown yet. Did you start another fire? I did not start it on the fire. My foot and tender is dead. Is that fire? Yeah. It's still burning. It's still burning. Just. Wow. There's a hole in the tree. <laughs> Watch it compared once again. <laughs> That's a very nice everything you've got there. Okay. Are you ready for the mass explosion of sheep? Five. Yeah, what was that? Yes. All right. I am. Okay. Then let's get have, out of the way. I have the backup. I have the backup. I have a safety override unit <laughs> right here in my hand. JIC. Okay. Now. Did you see what I'm holding? Correct. No, I did not. This is a backup plan. Ah. I'm in the mood for roast lamb, Michael. The in the mood for what? Roast lamb. Oh, roast lamb. Oh. No. Too late for that. <laughs> My God, it's still burning, Michael. The original fire is still burning. <laughs> it's the ever-burning log. It's you must hail it. Finally! Time to finish the dirting. Fence gate. You're not a fence gate. You're a fence. Use wheat to actually put people in pens. All right. This is not going to work. They're all going to come to us. Fine. I don't care if they flood me. I just want two in here. Now, I just need to figure out a way to walk out. <laughs> Can you close the door? I'm afraid to use my wheat. What was that? I'm afraid to use my wheat. Don't, baby, don't fear the wheater. Oh, God. <laughs> Sorry. Oh god, here it comes. Oh, oh god. Oh god. Why can't I hit Q on the fence gate? Do I 
have two fence gates next to I have two fence gates next to each other and I couldn't get either one of them to work. Sheep bait lag. <laughs> or sheep bait lag. No no, I don't want breeding! <laughs> All right, almost done. We're getting this taken care of, slowly but surely. Oh God, so slow. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> the only thing that occurs to me to do this better is if one of us leads them in and the other person closes the door behind them. That might work better. Yeah. So you, I've got two in here, but I can't close the door. Tell you what, Alex, you can start killing sheep if you can come over and help me close the doors. Okay, one sec. I'm gonna get out of this one before I actually got two. I got the two back in here again. Somehow. I made too many sheep before this. We, it, we just flooded with sheep. Too many sheep. Kill some. Here. Get, feel sure. free to. Oh no no. Uh, do you have fire? Can you can you burn them at the same time? Do you really want me to use fire? <laughs> no. You're honestly asking me that, because I'll do it. I will. <laughs> I take it back. <laughs> what was that? You won't be sure I'm wool when this is all over, that's for sure. Yeah, well, yeah, the, the, the long-term goal, as I said, is to have every color. Okay, I've got two in this room now. If you can close the door. Um, yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, come on. I couldn't find the door. I couldn't find the door. Come on. Why don't you get in there? Come, come, come. Come on. Come on. Here, sheepy, sheepy. Here, sheepy. Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? Sheeple. Come here, sheeple. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Can you imagine what YouTubers are going to say about this? Can you imagine doing this by yourself? <laughs> if I don't overbreed the sheep, yes, I can see doing this by myself if I don't overbreed the sheep. I don't know if you would keep your sanity, Michael. <laughs> all right, that's it. Yeah, go right ahead. I no longer care. We can always make more. This is not the way to do this at all. <laughs> okay. Now, at this point, where do we have chambers that don't have people in them? We're actually almost done. Two there. Come on, come on, people. Come on, people. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yoo-hoo! Yoo-hoo! Come on! Come on! I got two more. Come on, sheepy! Come on, sheepy! Come on, sheeple! Come on! Sheepies! Sheepies! Come on, sheepies! Sheepies! Come here, sheeple! Come on! Come on! Keep my wheat in hand. Come on, come on. Yes, yes. Come on. Sheeple, come on, sheeple. Come on. Come on, sheeple. No, I have wheat. Don't walk away from somebody with wheat. Alex, you yeah. may use fire on the sheep that are still Yay. wandering loose. <laughs> that wasn't fire. I don't care. <laughs> I want them dead. Yeah. I think that's everything. We now use wheat to make sure there's at least three in each container. Why three? So that in case one of them glitches out, there will still be two in each. 
Every time we load the world, there's a possibility for a sheep to glitch out. So I want to make sure that there is three in each container. I heard a fence gate. It's this one, I got it. Alright, looks like we're good. No, we're not. Come on, people. Follow me back in here. Oh no, what? Follow me back in here. Oh, can I wait? Can you close the door? I've got two in here. Uh, yeah. Uh, come on, move out of the way. There we go. Alright. Should I just kill this one? Uh, well, let's let's try some. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Weedy wheat, weedy wheat, 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 wheat. Kill him! Oh Kill him! Kill him! Okay, you got it. I'm actually gonna get enough food to burn again. Yeah. All right, so is that three in every pen? Almost. Oh, no, 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 Put it out, put it out. It's... No, get in there. No. Crap. Now, as far as I am concerned, it's done for tonight. Where right. are you? I'm at the entrance to the enchanting area. Oh, well, okay. You're at the top of that tall tree? Yeah. I'm coming into the enchanting area. Oh my, we've got solid leaf cover now! Yep. Beautimus! Yep. It's dry in here even though it's raining out there. Exactly. Nice! Okay, oh, I see ladder, I see ladder! All right, I'm, com I'm coming up to take a look. I'm trying to come up to take a look. We have tree growing up. We have tree house. We yeah. have tall, tall ladder. Woot! Whoa, oh, don't fall down from here. <laughs> yeah, it's not quite ready for, you know, left around off. All right. Wow. I'm going higher, so I build it here. Wow. Yeah. Well, we are at height 86, and you have 256 available to you. <laughs> all right. Well, let's do it. Do you realize that not all of the saplings have grown yet? Yes, I do. I'm not going to plant any more for a while. <laughs> Please don't. What? It's 2.30 in the morning? We should go to bed. Uh... <laughs> but there's still trees to chop down! <laughs> oh my god, Michael. Oh my god. We can't stay up forever. <laughs> sure we can! Haven't you done that before? <laughs> Haven't you noticed the drop in my voice? I'm gonna drop any tell you I'm gonna get stoned. All right, all right. Okay. Actually, I think that's right. Let me finish the floor, and then we're good to go. Yeah, okay. Ouch, crap. I died. <laughs> Do I need to make a death run uh, for you? Please. Yeah, I think this was overdone on the... Even by my standards, I think this was overdone on the trees. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. <laughs> I actually understand why you wanted to use a forest fire to clear them out now. Uh-huh. I'm, I'm on my way, I'm just... Looks, it also looks bad down there, so... Okay, wow. So I'm... Ah. Oh, God. What? Oh, thank God. 
almost fell off the tree, the entire thing. I actually managed to take no damage, though. Hello. Where are you? Oh, I see you. Hi, Hello. Here. I'm just taking a look at the shaft that you have up here. I mean, you've got trees, tr tree blocks. That hey, you're pushing me. I didn't even know you could do that. Neither did I. Oh. Okay. So one issue is that we need the ladder extended one more because I can't actually walk out of this hole. I have to jump out. Oh, you jump up. You jump up. I'm going to put the trap door there. Don't push me. I won't. Beautiful sunset. Uh -huh. Beautiful view. Yep. Hey, look at the look at the sheep farm from here. It really looks good. Yes, it does. And here's a sapling that never grew after all this time. <laughs> What's wrong with living in a cave? Makes you inhuman or something. I don't even know. As you may notice, the treehouse is not being supported on the other side. Don't worry, I'm going to put a tree there so it looks natural, and then I can build a building is built from halfway from the bottom all the way to the top, and then part way to the bottom again. All right. I can officially say I built the building from the bottom to the top to the bottom. No, well, I think I can believe you. It's going to be huge. It's going to be giant, and. I think having a water ride down into our work zone makes yeah, sense. Yeah, I'm already working on that. I built a little balcony over here. We're going to start off with. Yes. All right, so there's a bed waiting for you up here on the ground. If you want to come get that and put it, plot it down somewhere. Up here on the ground? No, no, no. It's up here. Where, where, where's me? I know, I know. But you said up here on the ground. Well, yeah, on the, on the floor up here. <laughs> Shut up, Michael. From where you're standing... What is the tree that I should not cut down? Uh, it's over there. Over to the, your left. To my left. You turn your left. Uh, let's see. Rivers of the Sun. It's in the west. Towards, it's west from you, and it's the first tree you'll see. Really tall. So it's this one right here. Yes, the one you're standing like right in front okay, of. Okay, that one does not get cut down. All right, no problem. I think that's the tall one anyway. That is the tall one, isn't it? From I think so. Up, right? I'm going to have to come up. Just don't, just don't do anything in that area yet, and I'll check it out tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I won't do anything in this area. And... Arr. <laughs> Wah! <laughs> I mean, I cut down a four-high stump that it had no branches or anything, and it, bran it branched and cut down other stuff. I'm removing uh, that plug in. It's cutting down too many trees. <laughs> yeah, I think we're both uh, out of it because neither of us is talking much anymore. No, nope, I think we should. Yeah, we're, we're kind of done. Yeah, all right. Then I'm just going to end the recording and say... I'm just going to end the recording and say thank you for watching. Bye-bye.